<laughs> it's February 2011. We're at the Belly Dancer of the Universe. And um, I wanted to ask Safra how your friends are in Egypt. And Roxanne is also going to help us out here, too. Luckily, thank God, my friends are okay in Egypt. Um, everybody I know is well. They haven't been hurt. Uh, Farid is fine. Mahmoud is fine. Everybody's well. One of my friends had his store broken into and everything's gone. But he's okay. And when I got hold of him, he was downstairs in front of the apartment building with all the other men of the apartment building with clubs and things, making sure nobody got inside the apartment and making sure nobody took their car. But um, thank God everybody's okay and the people that I know in Upper Egypt, they keep telling me, no, no, that's only on television, nothing's happening like that. That's in Upper so, Egypt. That's in Upper Egypt. So your friend that was in Cairo, he was defending family and property? Yes. yes. And I asked him, are you at the store or are you at home? And he says, no, no, the store is gone. They've taken everything. But Where is his store? His store is in Hanukalili. Any more specific than that we can get a little description? Um, it's, um, it's down the street from Mahmoud Abba Ghaffar. It's on the main street, up, more, up close to the mosque. So just a couple stores down from that. So it was a main, it's a main area, so I don't know how everybody else was at Hanukalili or not. What kind of merchandise did he have in his store? Um, touristic kind of things like gold and silver and papyrus and this kind of stuff. And, and uh, is this a dancer or a musician friend or...? Um, he's a big supporter of dance. Um, I've just known him as one of the good friends there and I've known him for I think over 20 years. And what I like about him, his face never changed. He was a good friend. You know, you never see a bad side of him. He honestly cares about people. I put a lot of people, if they travel to Egypt, I put them in his hands and he... He's marvelous. He's just marvelous. So, he's and he's an amazing jeweler as well. Yes. Can we he's name names? Khaled. Khaled. <laughs> Khaled. And, he, and he always calls his store the Prince's Cave. I don't know why, but he does. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And yeah. so, um, and when was it that you talked to him? I was talking to him when there was a lot of the um, the pro Mubarak supporters had just come in and then let out all the people from jail. And so that's when that was going on. But everything has calmed down and people's property is safe. Whatever was still there, it's safe now. Um, I haven't gotten hold of Mahmoud Abdul Ghaffar yet. Um, I hear that Amira El Katan of Pharaonix is fine. I just talked to Dilal. So little by little we're finding out about all of our friends and who's where. And how about your trips in June, are they? Yes, I'm going in June. I'm going the last weekend in May, or the last week of May, on through the first week in July. So Journey to Egypt 3, which is Cairo, um, it's no problem. We're, I, I'm doing two of them, and both are attended, and both, of the both groups of people were going, oh, I was afraid you'd cancel it, so they're all on for it. If anything happens in Cairo, we're already at my friend's guest house. So which we're is, fine. Which is in? It's up, by the, it's up by the pyramids. It's right across the road from the Sphinx. And that area is very well protected. Well very protected. Well protected. Okay, good. And then once we go into Upper Egypt for Journey through Egypt 4, of course, everything's fine. So right. um, there was a Journey through Egypt 5. I was going to start this year, Suez Canal and Sinai. And I don't have friends in these areas. I have acquaintances and friends of friends. But I need to go there a couple more times by myself and which I will go by myself. Um, I canceled that tour until I was more sure. Okay, so great. That's what's going on there. Thank goodness, I just really wish them all well and for, um, not easy, it will never be easy, but for a peaceful transference of power yes. and growing in. But the people who did this, these are technically savvy, educated young people, yes. um, but very balanced moderate minds and um, unfortunately you know okay they're educated but now there's no jobs so um, I just I just wish them all well my heart is with them it's really with them all Absolutely. right thank you very much mm -hmm. all right and let's see
Uh, so I want to thank you for referring your students to Gilded Serpent. I've talked to a number of them now who are reading all the way through. Good, good. Gilded Serpent. I hope so. I hope so. We were talking the other day about um, did I feel bad when I was in Egypt that I was taking the job of an of an Egyptian. And the truth is, is where I worked was a five-star hotel, but before me they only had a singer. They didn't have a dancer because the a food and beverage manager didn't want to have any drama. So he decided no <laughs> dancer. So when I came in, then um, I had to promise that there would be no drama, which I'm not a drama person anyway. I just, I just <laughs> wanted to focus on the work. And also um, I was told by Farida and other people is don't change the system and don't abuse Egypt. Don't go in there, take their money, and run back. But all the money I made in Egypt, other than some plane tickets, but that was spent in Egypt too, was spent in Egypt mostly for costumes. I bought well over 50 costumes there. And for me, I love Egypt and I want to support Egypt and I will keep buying my costumes there. I have two Bellas, but other than that, they're all Egyptian. And um, I also wanted to mention something I've told other people is if you really, really want, and I'm going to, I'm going to get emotional, if you really want to help an Egyptian woman, you give her a sewing machine. Because sewing is a respectable job. She can do it at home. Um, she can have her family help. She has neighbors that can come in and do big projects with her. Um, if she personally does, doesn't want to sew, she can rent out the sewing machine. But I'm really for supporting Egyptian women, and sewing is one of the things that is a respectable thing for them to do. So I'm in support of that. And so Excellent. how do you do that? Is there a place that you can buy sewing machines in Egypt? Because I would imagine it's difficult to carry one with you. I bought them in Egypt because okay. then um, the electric is right and everything already. Okay. But Egyptians are clever and if you bring a used one from the United States, for sure they can figure out how to change the electric around. But you can buy them in Egypt and you can give them to somebody or just idea. support them and go to them and have things made for you or make you know buy the costumes that they make by hand so excellent yeah thank you very much thank you all right you want to say anything oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne's going to be helping Isis Zahara help um, her yes. with an article about the connection between belly dance and samba yes and I'm very cool. excited to um, help her you know uh, be able to there's some translation and translation then. yeah to be able to translate it accurate accurately into English but to really go deep into samba and the Brazilian culture and that connection with belly dancing and its culture oh it's gonna, it's be, gonna be great wonderful and you know Roxanne is half Brazilian and half Lebanese yes. yeah yeah Yes. So, okay. it, so. It, it really is who I am and, and two things that I know very well. And I also have a couple things of my own coming to Gilded Serpent yes, very yes, soon. Yes, yes. So. Excellent. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. This presentation has been brought to you by Gilded Serpent.